What can music manuscripts tell us about a composer's life and times? I'm Emily Chambers and in this series we'll be exploring this question through an exhibition about Beethoven at the British Library which took place between December 2021 and April 2022. Beethoven's sketchbooks, once functioning as everyday objects in the composer's working life, are now preserved and elevated in status, owned by some of the world's finest libraries and museums. As such, these precious objects now have restricted access, with only a small number of musicologists able to view the original manuscripts. The Beethoven exhibition at the British Library offered a rare opportunity for members of the public to explore the sketchbooks, along with many other primary sources from the late 18th and early 19th centuries. What do Beethoven's sketchbooks tell us? The opening exhibition label notes that Beethoven's handwriting often appears chaotic yet offers a powerful visual representation of his creative imagination and indomitable spirit in the face of progressive hearing loss. We'll consider how politics, the music business and the process of music composition is reflected in the sketchbooks comprising of fragments of Beethoven's music in draft. 250 years after Beethoven died, the exhibition offers an opportunity to reflect on our own politics in comparison to the aspirations of liberty and the concept of the nation state emerging from the French Revolution, and to consider issues of copyright in the music business and the reuse of musical ideas. But that's just the start. In this series, we'll explore Beethoven's sketchbooks the original manuscripts where he drafted his musical compositions alongside other primary sources. We see concert programmes which help us to understand how the first audiences experienced Beethoven's music alongside some unusual ticketing systems which allowed access to the concert hall. Ever present were the music critics also attending early performances of Beethoven's compositions. The exhibition offers access to these early reviews and reactions to his music, often revealing surprising responses to some of the most valued and revered works of Beethoven. More personal written sources, such as diaries and conversation books used by Beethoven as an aid to his hearing loss, offer an intimate perspective to his life and times. But even administrative items, such as minutes of meetings, accounts and receipts, offer a tantalising glimpse into the lifestyle and personality of Beethoven and the times in which he lived. More tangible sources, offering insightful visual records, include music accessories, drawings and sculptures, Though perhaps the most impactful of these is the presence of Beethoven himself within the exhibition, though you'll have to wait for the final part of the series for that to be revealed. The exhibition assembles these seemingly disparate primary sources to present a coherent narrative, offering insight into Beethoven's music, his personality and life in Europe during the turbulent period of the French Revolution. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and click the bell to receive notifications about future videos in this series.